we're not a wave. <laughs> we're we're almost like a lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. Like real shit. Like yeah. I, I this shit might sound cliche, but I feel like we we can really push the culture forward. Like and I don't even think a lot of people even strive to do that. <laughs> What is dope to these to, to certain people? You know what I'm saying? Everybody's definition is gonna differ. Absolutely. But it's like I, I, I want black vanity to like kind of define dope. Potentially. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like well eventually, you know. So I wanted to make the case that rap is poetry for one and you know some of the decisions we made to give those decisions context. Why these songs are the way are. So what's up, fellas? We here is the boy New Boy Fuse, mm -hmm. Black Vinny in the building. Yes. The boy Open yeah, the Drop. Shorts. What's good? What's good? Black Vinny, how y'all feeling? Yeah. Everything good. Everything good. It's the word. Ain't nothing, man. It's been a strong 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. A good one. A yeah. good one. Yeah, every day's a good day. Cool. Musically, um, I think. Black Vanity has had one of the strongest years um, collectively as a as a movement with both projects dropping this year. Um, thank you from the culture. Thank you. Like um, for us, it makes our job a lot easier and a lot more interesting when we have a variety of artists working, and especially when you have artists who are seasoned players in this league now, you know what I'm saying, here and now on for a while. Like y'all season players in the league, people have become familiar with y'all brand and y'all style of music and y'all sound. So when y'all join forces, this is like Shawn Michaels and Marty Janetti, y'all got a rock right now. You feel me? As a group, like y'all got a rock. Uh, nah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you doing this. We're going to kick back, vibe into both projects, Oakland. Um, and long story short, um, I got the game with me. Long story short too, I got the game with me. Um, it's funny because we listen to yeah, music on our um, regular time, like like our regular day to day shit. We really vibe with certain artists' music and listen to it and we talk about it. So like we 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 feel like all right, we have conversations like all right, Shorts got the better song out of the Shorts and. Oakland collab off of each project. Shorts got the better song. We have no, we go that far to have those details. And one of the things that amazed us, and I use the word amazed because both of y'all are very strategic and calculated with the steps and the things you're doing. Right? I remember when we seen y'all go OC and was shooting the videos. We damn near waited a year. You feel me? For the video, for the for the for the complete, you know what I'm saying? We caught shorts joint with the clips and things that he want that he wanted to give us. And then when Oak came, it was like, okay, they really strategic with it. So it was amazing to see y'all both drop same time only. Like a week, weeks. How what many weeks in like between? Eight, eight, nine days. It, 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 that one week between both projects. And it was the twenty fourth, twenty third, or twenty fourth. Yeah. One of those. So like we had nine, nine, ten days, nine, ten days. And it was the first time Same that we me. that we heard. The new Black Vanity sound. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So y'all came. Yeah. So it was like. If this was a gun show ugly, y'all came, bam, 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 edit, then double back and round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Double back and round. Yeah. A week later, eight days later, say, yo, hold on, let me just make sure like niggas understand. It's exactly 11 days ago. Uh, we the ones that made the fun of. Now we making all the ruckus. The winter time is cold. Really be like best friends, like 
real nigga shit. Like y'all niggas really be like best friends. Like y'all niggas do everything together and got your own life where y'all do mad shit with other people too. Like, yeah. but y'all really fucks with each other. Like, ugly. Like that shit is not no. Vanity. That's it. Real life. Like that shit. Real life. Like, yeah, shit, yeah. Real life. like we have respect for one another because we, we both have qualities that we share um, and qualities that you know that are, are that we each obtain and, and that we don't don't share. But we we have respect, so much respect for those qualities that those core qualities um, that consistency, that work ethic, um, uh, you know, just that 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 combination of elements that make a nigga go, you know what I'm saying? And um, we talk music every day. We talk music every day. We talk, not just music, we just talk about being productive every day. He check me, I check him. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We try to stay on top of each other's paws and all of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we just try to, we try to make sure we, we keep keeping, keeping the vision right in front of us, like, yo, yo, what up, bro? You know, this is the vision, right? Like, we trying to get here, so what you up to? What you doing? What you talking to me? Oh, you doing this? That's hard. I'm about to bite. I'm about to get me, though. But, like, I'm going to figure, oh, you wrote a, you wrote a banging, banging joint? All right, I'm going to come back next week. I'll see you next week. Like, I said, yeah, memo. Yo, just constant G-checks, yo. And it's funny because we, 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 we get humorous with it. Like, oh, I, I'm just like, I just accomplished this, no big yeah, deal. Yeah, I'm styling yeah. on you though. Like, I see you, and then it's like, nah, I ain't getting left behind. Oh, Even man. though we, if that's not what it is, like, we, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. It's fun. We just keep it in fun. We keep it in. We 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 stay in focus. We try to stay focused every day, reminding ourselves and having those discussions. It keeps it keeps it it keeps it at bay. You know what I'm saying? So you don't. Let it move. Yeah. It's like, oh, I, I just oh, progress, progress, progress. Hell yeah. Hell so yeah. how was that process? How we are putting these two projects together, being together all the time, being in each other's sessions? That's a different, for me, for us, like, just trying to imagine that it would be difficult. Like, how the fuck are y'all not making similar sounds? How are y'all not, like, you know what I'm saying? How, just walk us through that process a bit, if y'all can, on just what that adventure was like, and, and just, you know, going, cause like you said, you're talking every day, you're keeping each other on point, but at the same time, y'all both putting these projects together, you know, and then y'all going to the same studios, y'all y'all really yeah, build it, yeah. so it's like, y'all niggas not That's a great point, I never, I never, I, I take that for granted. That's, That's like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas working out together oh. every day, you know what I'm saying? All, all of this shit, and then, you're working on two different projects, two different sides. Um, I think it's just like, cause I I don't think shit. We don't sound the same. You get what I'm saying? We don't do the same thing creatively, but we in the same like same vein. You get what I'm saying? So it's like dope is dope. He gonna do him on his own time. I'm gonna do me. It's gonna be a couple of joints like yo, I think I need you on this, vice versa. Then once the shit is the actual vision is done, it's like what you think of this. As far as the project go, you know what I'm saying? And um, get his opinion, you know what I'm saying? Take, you know, I already got my vision, but you know the opinion matters, you know what I'm saying? And um, then just just take it from there. It it, it really there's no reason to clash and then, but that's what I was speaking to you before, like, boom, now once once the creative process is done, or in the midst of it, studio time, visual, together, all of that shit, we cut the expenses. Right in half, down in the middle, you know what I'm saying? So I changed like, things, bro, you, you know what like, it is, you so know We getting the project done, we got it, we both got two joints. On, on like that we got together, you know what I'm saying? It's like, or oh, and then with us shooting out the country, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, life flex. Uh, life flex. Oh, yo, peep that. <laughs> nah, but um, when with that shit, it's like we splitting those expenses and we getting dumb shit done at once. Yeah. And it all goes towards one movement, one team, one thing. So like we like need to get all the credit. <laughs> so be clear, listen. Shit, oh, that shit was a word. Peep the word play. We get more shit done out the country together. 
so you know niggas was going to the you Spanish bitches running the OGB, freaky niggas out of the country, B. that's just what happens, but we ain't gonna talk about that, that's black men, BT uncut version, feel me, y'all get that later. Go so check the network out, we approaching an hour work for feel me. The niggas was in the top on the balcony with bitches and all that. Like, yeah, like, like, yo, these niggas check it out. Like, like, man, the network. I see these niggas as gentlemen, but them niggas was finger popping in the videos and all that. Nasty niggas, tell them niggas nah, like you smell like your finger. Nah, he was like, yo, he was like, yo, tell them niggas like you smell like finger. Nasty niggas, B. He was nasty niggas. Old school bro. shit, rubber nigga knows what's your finger. Oh, nasty niggas, B. Nasty niggas. Yo, y'all had dumb fun out there, though? Yeah, sure. Nah, it yeah, looked like no, it was funny, funny, though. What's funny, bro? Y'all niggas can't wait to work out to take y'all shirt off, though. No, this guy had Y'all niggas right. get out there act stupid. These niggas is fools, B. They get out there and have no shirt on for a whole week when they take them out. Say, yo, these niggas is different. He was flexing. He loved his right beard. He loved his right beard. But I'm glad we was able to get so much done and have a little bit of fun. Yeah. Definitely enjoyed it. So just being with your bros and getting yeah. the experience and talk about it. Some, some homies you love and grew up with. It's, it's, it's dope. It was definitely special. Um, and, like, you know, obviously, as you said, it's that flex. Like, we get to come home and say, shout out. Punch it. Colors. Colors. Talk to me about this. This is like one of my. Um, I remember Breaker Lag and Breaker Promise. Ball the record to me was right there. Because of my new scars. It made you dub them, like, <laughs> yeah. dub, like, it's, you don't even oh, know how that bar to hit home, I was going to talk to me about it. Before he go, because I got an issue. Yeah, I got it, I'm sorry. <laughs> talk to me. He put me on to that bar. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I don't even know if niggas caught it. So I'm like, nah, I'm going to say the most part there. But it didn't register until later once he said it. My mom, you can break now, you can get into that. He can break that down, because that bar is, is, is just, Hold it, you get what I'm saying? But God, hold it. What would um the honest my mom's scars of what led to me, dad, and my father? Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's you know what I'm saying? I was talking about the combined thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make that connection again, but obviously, like you know, not having not having your father around is it's, it's tough. My mom is dope. She did a great job. I got two brothers. Um, mom's still alive, by the way. She's still kicking the breeze. Love you, mom. Um, but uh, I, I, I'm glad I was just able to shout her out. I'm glad I was able to touch on that because I feel like so many black men in one shape, in some shape or form, have had that some form of void in the family dynamic. Um, a lot of shit for, for, for various reasons, and it's like we we be having to overcome some shit and. We we not we not naturally as a culture we are not allowed to be vulnerable. Well, not allowed, I should say allowed, but we're not. It's not. It's not accepted with open arms. <laughs> Us being vulnerable, and emotional, and letting down. So we hold so much in, and we got to deal with so much, and and still deal with life. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a lot of weight on our shoulders. So it was just dope being able to, to hit that that pocket right there on this record. And, um, I was just trying to talk some real shit, like it's not just you know be all over the place, but like give you some like these are social issues. This was going on. Talk about the barbershop. Talk about the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like every hood needs a hero, a person they proud of. Black vanity on both coasts. Shorts dribble and low posts. My brother locked and he just wrote. Is he coming home? I could just hope. So, what's your favorite joints on the project? Like, what's your favorite joints on the Oh. Mary definitely mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. like, and I'm not just saying it, I'm solid ground. I feel like solid ground is a sleeper too. But I feel like solid ground. Show it how versatile he is. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit can be on Z100. <clears throat> With the right situation, so. We don't never get enough. We don't never get enough. Lean, lean like a ring. Lean, lean in my cup. Three chains on my neck. Two angels on my neck. How many hoes did he fuck? Y'all gonna always have to guess. Ass shots for a butt. Shot, shot for a butt. Oh, I'm busy. How was that? How was the whole 
experience of putting joints together when you, cause we from the now, so yeah, we don't really have a lot of people who's familiar with all the the dope artists from here. Like people really not familiar. So even with like Pizzy and them being right from the Bronx, right? A lot of artists don't even I tell you something you? connect with artists on that level from there. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I ain't even know him. Okay. The bro put me on. Okay. And when this dude, he's he's we respect each other's ear, but he telling me he telling me like yo, you might need to join with Pizzy. And I hear the name like yo, who's Pizzy, bro? <laughs> what you talking about? I'm coming with this Pizzy shit. Like like now nah, who's for the Bronx? He got someone with East, whatever. And I'm like, so obviously that when I heard that, I'm like, oh, well, East, like where he must have some some work. But when I when I heard the first joint he sent me or the second joint first, whatever, I wasn't like that impressed. So I was like, ah, I kind of fell back for a little bit. And he was like, every three, four days, he like, or every so often, every couple conversations, he hit me like, yo, bro, meet that joint with Pizzy, bro. And it's like, so finally one day it clicked, because I'm like, yo, I had I had a joint, um, this joint enough, and I had um, Spreewell's daughter, Busy Monroe, I had her in mind, like, yo, she would be kind of hard on this shit. So then I told him, like, yo, I got a joint that would be cool. I, it just it just so happened, I'm like, yo, bro, I had a joint for Pizzy, but like, I think I'm gonna put this Busy and Road chick on. He's like, make it fuck it, put them both, make it a New York thing, like, fuck it. And I'm like, yeah, that's hard. <laughs> and it's funny, because she's from, like, Missouri, lived in White Plains, but like, got a lot of love in Mount Vernon. It's fine. Now, I'm not really, I don't know what her connection is with Mount Vernon, but she got a lot of love out there. Um, so it's, it's funny that you got that Mount Vernon element. I'm obviously, my foundation is White Plains, but I also have a lot of um, support in Mount Vernon. Um, she do, but like a different side, younger side of Mount Vernon. And then, you know, you got homies from the Bronx that got a lot like, like Pizzy, they really fuck with Pizzy. Like, you know what I'm saying? The ex fuck with Pizzy. Um, so it's dope, as you said, it really, oh, that shit opened my mind up. Like, yo, there's a lot of, there's a lot of nooks and crannies we gotta get into and rub shoulders. So like, we want New York to know us. <laughs> So we gotta we gotta make sure we knock them on doors like yo this is this is the vanity I'm the homie old because our guys has to come get familiar yeah if we, if we, we gonna be taking serious like certain people gotta know who you are so you know what I'm saying what's the price gotta call it if you ever got a question then I know you can't afford it yeah, oh, we got eight videos off this project okay um that. Very, Thank you. like very, Thank you. you know what I'm saying? That's what was the the motive behind making sure that visually you kept this shit in niggas' faces, like because that attention. It's like niggas is doing a lot of Instagram shit. Niggas taking a lot of pictures. Niggas is making a lot of music, but there's not too many niggas that's consistent with the videos. You're gonna consistently see me on your screen. Giving you a piece of me, a side of me, a, a story that I may see, some portrayal of me. You gonna want to like you gonna fuck with me because you see me constantly. I'm in your face. You, I'm giving you me. And it's not just a song. And it's not just a song. You can no funny. You can feel someone out when you're watching that video. They move. It's how they they going about it. How they delivering a song. So um, it's just the art form in itself. Whether it's a super conceptual video or it's something real simplistic like. The, the 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 person is 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 art form. You know what I'm saying? The artist delivering himself. That's there's art there. So um, yeah, like I, I just felt like that could help. Well, really shorts. You know what I'm saying? He always put the emphasis on the visuals, and um, I, I definitely adopted that mindset. Like that can set us apart. The visuals, because these things, in order to execute the visuals, you gotta stay creative. It's forcing you to like you gotta laugh. It's like I'm looking around like. You you gotta see what's going on around you. You in tune. Like, I gotta give people dope visual. So, I gotta be visual. Like, oh shit, that feel is dope. I'm pulling over. Niggas don't even understand my scout game. I'm pulling the fuck over. Sometimes I be with wifey, wifey. Like, um, she giving nigga that look like, like what? now she knows. Like, I do some random pull over. She's already like, oh, what's the Here you go. You're trying to figure some shit out. You know what I'm saying? But word, I'm trying to figure some shit out. Green and that stack, big big and this bitch. So, I 
it was a really project in Cuffie But it, it had a, an impact in the streets. And it, it, it set the tone for who you are and like your sound early on. Like you, you came in like, it's funny cause a lot of artists have to develop their sound as they go. Like it just it comes with it. And you, and you are doing that as well. But your sound is so distinct. Like, your, your, from your ad-libs that you're doing, your vocal tone is really what it is. Like, you know what I mean? That's, that's distinct. You know how, you know how we all say like, Kiss got that. Kiss, that's, that's yeah, Kiss, kiss. Well, that's, that's Kiss. You can hear him in the store. You can hear him with, you know that, you got that. Wow. Like, you got that. Like, your own version of, Sound. Like this, you can't. There's not a person that's gonna mistake an actual. Oh, is that such and such? Or yeah, yeah. nobody's gonna mistake your sound for nobody else's sound. Yeah. And it, it seemed like you in Cozy Mo Park every verse. Yo, every verse. It's so like yeah, you feel like yeah, oh, this is a, you pulling up a chair in a booth and you just kicking off your sneakers, bro. And you just go get in and just talk this shit with your do rag. You can't hang me, bro. You're silky, you feel me? And I'm just gonna talk my shit, bro. You feel me? And just flex dumb hard on these things the whole verse. You feel me? It's just, cause you know, look, it's 81, cozy level. Like, yeah. you, you, you got a distinctive sound. Like, you got a sound. As an artist, you got a sound. And still, you know, but how do you go into, like, you seen one. Feel me? Um, you already got a big ass head from the kids, so you didn't get big headed off of that shit. That shit was knocking. People was fucking with the project, bro. And the merch was booming too. So even if niggas tried to deny the music, that's why I'll take that. I'll take that. How do you double up this time? Like, what's the game plan going into? Long story short, too, that after that run, after that street. When you're preparing for it now, it gotta be some sort of like okay, like all right, niggas jacking my shit, cool. Now you can feel a little cozy about your gift, mm -hmm. but how do you go into it? Some people could be like, all right, now I'm on my shit, or like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what was your thought process after that of saying, all right, now, now with this one, yeah, yeah. after one the buzzing. Everything that came with it, the merch and everything that came with it. Cause the, the one established this 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 yeah. this logo. Like one established all of that. You feel me? That that made it up. And I ain't wanna go too far away from that shit because we're not done yet. You know what I'm saying? Like this whole shit is no more done. Like so it's like it's actually here to stay. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's like boom, that's alright, cool. So after one came out, <clears throat> that shit just boosted my fucking confidence. Crazy. Like I wasn't Almost, <clears throat> very light, like, I'm like, yo, this shit is fun. I'm like, yo, this shit is incredible. Like, I, I still, to this day, the way they can be G. I get so gas, like, you know how you saying about my first one, when I'm, in, I'm recording shit like that. I'm still just gas to even be doing this type of shit. Like I never thought I would be rapping, like for yeah. real, like not no funny shit. Yeah. Like I, I, I told, I was telling him the other day, like I'm not even like no music hip hop head like that. You know what I'm saying? I just started listening to music like that, like really making sense of it, like probably 08 type shit. Mm -hmm. Like if we being honest, like that's when I started like listening to Kiss and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So. World, but as far as going into two, it's like I didn't want to uh, stray too far away from the theme of one. I already knew I wanted to tell the story again. Um, I already knew I wanted to go with my pop story because I had my mom's on the one. But, <coughs> and it was only right because if you read my prophecy, you read my mom's story. Exactly. Exactly, and I'm like, it only makes sense to balance it out. Yeah. Like, yeah, so, that's the play to say. I was word, word, that is. So, and this is like your snuff. Yeah, he's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. He, yo, he's a funny guy. But it's like, um, 
Yeah, I kind of, once, once one was out, got the feedback you got, I'm like, all right, cool, I know why I want to go to I had some drinks, I was right to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I was sitting on them shits for a while because I just wasn't in project mode. Like, I'm like, they got to absorb one, you know what I'm saying? Like, and like, I'm still trying to figure out where I want to go with it. Like who I am as a as an artist as I develop and all that. So it's like I'm not in no rush to come back out. Like I know where I wanna go, but it's like fuck out of here. So then we like, like yeah. Hey, I'm like nah, I'm just doing freestyles and shit like that, beats or whatever. Then we link up with whatever and he's like, I gotta come out or something like soon. Like you get what I'm saying? Like it's like that's my welcome back, you know what I'm saying? So he put me in project mode you know, like in that bird and just like like, I fuck it, like, I might as well, you get what I'm saying, like, what the fuck I'm up, what am I, what am I holding on to these records, too, you know what I'm saying, like, let's get it out of here, fuck it, yeah, loyal to the end, we said that in beginning, when you paper chasing, ain't no time to chase the women, make a killing, bet your bottom dollars, I'ma make a million, yo, big Two of the records play is definitely it's different. Um, as far as the energy, one two is definitely different. But it's it's so needed to follow up what we see on the gram and just how your life is like. My nigga, y'all have Sunday dinner and like do shit like that. Like that shit is so dope as in like a black family to see and then listening to your music, you bring us in your house, like you feel me? Like you bring us in your house, like that ass. Like you bring us in your house, like you, 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 you know what I mean? You. It's a part. It's crazy because there be people in your pictures that I've seen before, I've met before in life, like through my family and white planes at the hospital, yeah. through jobs and shit. Like, oh shit, she went with my cousin. Oh, and you're like, damn, son. Like, it's crazy how we could have met at another life or something totally different at a cookout or something, like a kid party or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, so as a fan of your music, I appreciate that because any artists don't really give you that personal, personal like that, bro. You get that on the first album. After they get the bag, they got the label deal. First album, man, I think it's gonna get a little personal, like, you feel me? After you set back, you know what I'm saying, when this shit was out and you happen to have that ride or when you parked up and smoked and you sat and listened to this shit, how you vibe, what been like your top three drinks over the project? I like, I like all my shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't put it out if I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, dead ass, like, but, um, so every time, like, I'm asked that question, it's really tough for me to pick, like, a favorite three, but, like, I, I guess I go off, like, meaning and, and, like, my vision. So, like, i say Mercy. I feel like that was my most complete song on the project, like, from start to finish. First hook, first verse, you know what I'm saying? Second hook, second verse, blah, 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 like, formatted. Like, that was my, I feel like that was my best song on there. Um, Fleshed on, it was a sleeper. Yeah. I was on the fence about it. I held that shit for dumb long. I was on the fence about it. Yo, you know what I'm saying? And like, to this day, people probably don't even appreciate it, but for me, that was me, like, kind of stepping out of my comfort zone. So I'm like, I gotta do this. Like, I'm trying to exemplify growth on this project, y'all. So that's some shit they didn't see me do on one that people not gonna think. It's, and I'm not saying it's some billboard shit or like no Grammy nominated shit, like, but it, it's different for me. So people not gonna expect this. So I was like, all right. And then, um. Where did that concept come from? Flush on? Yeah, for you. Frustration. Like, I broke the project up into like 
probably like three different segments. It was the frustration segment. That's like the first three joints. Then um, I get into my lady segment. Then it's like my focus segment. Thankful. Let's get on. What's the next? On to the next. And the, the end. You get the end? Like on to the next movie, so to speak. So. It's interesting how you break down the song, the the, the structure of it. Yeah, 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 because it's, it's definitely, like, that's what I'm saying, like, and, and that's why this this sit-down is greatly appreciated, because it's it's a story, hence the title, so it's like, if you really sit down with this shit, that's why, like, ah, ooh, we're gonna get there, but if you really sit down with this shit, like, you get, you see, like, it's a story, start to finish. Like I just said it's, it's phases or though it transitions well. I have my dad come in and break this shit up, you get what I'm saying? He's touching on some shit that he like I'm about to get into or some shit that we was just talking about, you get what I'm saying? So and that flushed on shit, I was just super frustrated with my pops at this point. What about me, nigga, been through some shit? First world problems, problems, excuses <laughs> like Jordan, Jordan. Everybody got him, got him, I've been through, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, I ain't got no real problems, you get what I'm saying? Like, like, nigga, I ain't, like, I, I went, I ate last night, you get what I'm saying? Like, I had a roof over my head, like, I had several sneakers and shit, like, I'm good, like, I'm not saying those type of problems, but not having my pops in my life for the first 10 years, you get what I'm saying? And then, like, him coming in and having these outlets, and then me starting to rap, that shit gets frustrating. Like, it's like, what the fuck I gotta do? I did everything you asked me to do, you get what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, help me, my nigga. Like, yeah. like, really help me. Don't just bullshit with the help. Like, get, like, I'm trying to do this shit. But it, it's, it's fuel. Everything's fuel. You get what I'm saying? Let's get it. You get what I'm saying? Like, we gonna figure it out. So for you, It's, it's it, because we've been on this journey, learning about your life, learning about your story, and even this, like, we learned about in the music, like, you know, like, just the frustration of it. And for me, I understand, as a fan, I understand it, I can relate to the frustration, not to that door being open and, and not understanding how they can do it. But, is this more or less the motivation that fuels you a lot with pushing your brand and being independent and, and going as hard as possible because the door is right there, but it seems like you can't even convince that one nigga that is, is, is worth getting through the door with. Hell yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, it's, it pushes me. Like in with part two, this was the first time like he's, this is the most he's been involved. You know what I'm saying? So I I see it's like oh you, you respect my shit now. You get what I'm saying? Like you can't fake the fun. You get what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Like so that shit he the the, the, the critiques he gave me on the shit or the feedback rap because he didn't have too many critiques like the negative critiques or whatever um, was like that's all I needed to hear for part two. You get what I'm saying? And maybe he's a little biased because he was actually part of it. You get what I'm saying? Like with the, the voicemail and shit like that. I mean the conversations. But it's like when he said when he said some of the shit he said about his project, like it's like oh, okay, like pops, you get it. Even if you don't buy in just yet, I know at the end of the day, like you respect my shit. You get what I'm saying? Like you refer to me, you call me short. No J no more, you get what I'm saying? Like, you call me short. Oh, oh. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, you gonna respect my shit, my nigga. So it's like, yeah, yeah, like, we coming, we not stopping, my nigga. We gonna have no choice. Got some meth 
false. My white friends got high credit scores. My brother Donna probably bet it all if he called Poppy in a spread.